<clears throat> well, Roy, when we talked in Dallas, when you were there for Still of the Night, I remember you just alluded to Blue Thunder. And I could tell by the excitement in your voice that you were, that you were really anxious for, for all of us to have a chance to see it. We've seen it, and congratulations. I think you've got one of the hits of the summer. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you feel that way. I do. I really do. The kind of action and adventure that appeals to large numbers of people. But you know, I, I sat there last night in total awe of some of the things I was seeing as far as the special effects and the stunts mm -hmm. and all that. And I thought, holy Toledo, this just looked like, uh, you know, a, an accident waiting to happen, really. <laughs> <laughs> Were there, in fact, any accidents, any injuries? No, not really. Uh, one, one helicopter, when we were shooting downtown L.A. on a Sunday, had some sort of a malfunction, and it uh, just came down like a top. And actually, that kind of gave me uh, a lot more confidence in the flying, in that I saw that, uh, uh, regardless of the, of the problem, as long as the blades are intact, the helicopter can set itself down without injury. But that's the only uh, accident that I know of. You actually, of course, had to be in the chopper when it was flying. That wasn't just rigged up in, on a back no, lot the, someplace. The, the, the special effects that are in this film are mostly concerned with the Sidewinder rockets and some of that stuff. But all of the helicopter stuff was flown. I mean, that's one of the things that makes it particularly exciting is that the actors are in the, in the helicopters. And what you're seeing in the back is not rear projection, but the real thing. Was there ever a time, though, Roy, when you just said to the director, no, I, I just can't do that or I won't do that? Um, yes, but it, it wasn't, had nothing to do with flying. It had to do with another sequence on the ground. Uh, there was a, th there's a, a crash about midway in the film when uh, Danny Stern and I are going up on that test flight. And uh, we, we crash into that shack uh, near the construction site. Well, the morning that we went out there, I noticed that a lot of the, uh, a lot of the sharp edges on the, on the machine that we were going to be turned over in were not honed off or taped off. And I, got, I sat in there and I took a look at it. I said, no, no, I'm not going to do this because if this stuff snaps and breaks, we're in a lot of trouble. So they had to go back in and reinforce it. I mean, that's just something you learned after years of, of doing uh, films. Uh, for the most part, uh, stunt men and and uh, they they bend over backwards to protect you, but sometimes they miss they miss something. So you got to keep your eyes open. Have you ever been injured making a film? Sure, oh sure. I made a film uh, once uh, in California called The Outside Man with uh, a French director and uh, Jean Louis Trintignant and Anne Margaret. And on the last day of shooting, we were shooting out on the old. Santa Monica Pier, which was in rubble at that time. And I was chasing Miss Margaret in the scene, and I stepped on a board, and I snapped my ankle. I broke my ankle. Fortunately, it was the next to the last day of shooting. And the last day, they shot me from here up. So uh, I had that injury, and, and uh, I think that's about the most serious one. Yeah, I guess you've been pretty fortunate, considering yes. the films yes. you have made, yes. which have not been easy films. And then one time, one time we were shooting in Sorcerer in, uh, in the Dominican Republic, and we just finished a scene where myself and another actor were driving this truck down a long, steep hill. And we were gonna bring the truck back up again to do the shot again. And as we came, when we were going down the hill, the cliff was on this side, a wall face, and on the other side was a drop. And on the way back up, we didn't realize that it had rained the night before, and that shoulder was very soft. And halfway coming up the hill, the truck began to turn over. Well, we just stopped. We didn't move. And we very carefully got ourselves out of that truck. And only the rear axle was holding it there. So that's about as close as I've come. And they say making movies is all fun and games. Yes, yes. <laughs> Roy, you, uh, of course, uh, have two Oscar nominations for The French Connection and for all that jazz. Uh, how did you feel about the outcome of the Academy Awards this time? Well, I felt that, that as, a, as, a, as a spiritual uh, message, uh, Gandhi was very popular and, and very powerful in the voting. Uh, in my own opinion, I don't think it's the most imaginatively directed film or in the long run, uh, perhaps the best film. 
but you can't buck sentiment and you can't buck uh, uh, how people feel about something. And certainly Gandhi gave people an enormous uh, emotional experience and it's about a wonderful man. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, uh, all, that often happens with the Academy Awards. Uh, people vote uh, with their hearts. They vote with, uh, uh, with their hearts or, or sometimes with, with what they feel is politically important. Uh, they, they see a movie and they, they are touched by it and they feel it's important that other people go and see it. And I think that was the case with Gandhi. Uh, who won the year of all that jazz? Uh, Kramer versus Kramer. Okay. Uh, what were your feelings about that? Uh, well, uh, Kramer versus Kramer was a very uh, 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 touching and, and sentimental picture that almost everyone could empathize with uh, if they had children or if they were married or if they were divorced or contemplating any of those things. They could very easily identify with that problem. And uh, the picture touched the heartstrings of the nation, and uh, that's the picture that won. Did you feel like you got robbed? <laughs> no, I didn't feel like I got robbed. Uh, I'll tell you what I did feel, and it takes a long time in this business to be able to say this to yourself, is that I knew in my heart who gave the best performance that year. Moi. <laughs> well, no, that's, that's lovely. Uh, thank you for telling us that and for sharing that, Roy, because um, that says a lot about you as an actor and as a professional and as a man. Thank you. That's, that's, that's wonderful. And I did so thoroughly enjoy it. I, was, I said that year when I made my predictions, I said, if there's a dark horse, I think it could be Roy Scheider, but all the momentum seemed to be sure, with, with sure. Dustin at and that Dustin's moment. Dustin's performance was marvelous, and uh, it, as I say, it just touched so many people. You can't fight City Hall, you know? One last question, very quickly, Roy. Does it bother you that two years in a row we've had an English film get Best Picture? Not at all. I mean, all these things are cyclical. Uh, and, and, and the English don't even have a particular healthy uh, film industry. Those two pictures had to be, are the product of two producers hustling and going around and raising money and dragging it out of people and convincing people that their projects were worthwhile. I think they deserve all the credit in the world. Roy, thank you again. I, I'm so delighted to see you, and particularly because I have such a strong feeling about Blue Thunder. I think it is going to be a great, great hit. Thank you. And you were wonderful in it. Thank you. Good thank to you. see you, Roy. Nice interview. Thank you. Thank you. D. Ooh. Great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sound for questions, please. Were there any accidents during the filming of Blue Thunder? Have you ever been injured making a movie? What's the scariest thing that's ever happened to you in filming a picture? All right. Um, What are your thoughts about the Academy Awards this time and the way they turned out? Does it concern you that two years in a row an English picture has been named Best Picture? When you, when you did not win for all that jazz, did you feel like you were robbed? Okay, I believe that should take care of us. <laughs>